Opioid-related fatalities have been on a steep incline in Maryland. While prescription opioid involvement remains elevated, sharp increases in heroin and illicit fentanyl involved overdoses have been accompanied by increases attributed to the combination of opioids and benzodiazepines. Are you almost ready? Yeah, just give me a second. I just want to check the PDMP before I call this patient back. PDMP? Is that the database that has all the controlled, dangerous substance prescription history for a patient? I thought it was called CRISP. Well, CRISP is our state designated health information exchange, or HIE. And PDMP is the Maryland Prescription Drug Monitoring Program. And the PDMP contracts with CRISP so clinicians like us can register for and access PDMP data from within CRISP. The Prescription Drug Monitoring Program provides prescribers and pharmacists with secure access to view their patients' recent controlled substance prescription history at the point of care. This helps them better evaluate a patient's treatment as it pertains to controlled substance prescribing and dispensing. Okay, that makes sense now. I was in the emergency department the other day, and I heard the ED attending ask her scribe to pull up Chris for her while she was examining a patient. It's been a really great tool to have. It's easy to use, even in the exam room, and it shows all the CDS prescriptions your patient has received in Maryland, and pharmacies have to report the information soon after they dispense a prescription. So the information is up to date. I check the PDMP to know whether my patient is taking any other medications that could interact with the medication I'm planning to prescribe. Like if I was going to prescribe an opioid and find out the patient's already taking a benzodiazepine. It also shows me the who, what, and when my patient was prescribed a medication. And at times, that information has really changed my decision to prescribe the medication or actually changed my care plan for the patient. Sign me up. I would love to have access to that information. You should definitely register. Plus, it's the law that all prescribers and all pharmacists should have been registered for the PDMP by July 1st, 2017. Starting in July 2018, we're going to be required to check the PDMP prior to writing a prescription for an opioid or benzo in most clinical situations. For every prescription? There are some exceptions where prescribers and pharmacists don't have to access the data. You can check out the PDMP website for more details. But I check every time because the information is really valuable. Effective July 1, 2018, prescribers will be required, with limited exceptions, to check the PDMP database prior to starting a new course of treatment with an opioid or benzodiazepine for a patient and at least every 90 days thereafter if continuing a course of treatment. Can you show me how to sign up? And how much does it cost? Sure, it's easy. Plus, both registration and access to PDMP is free. You will need your DEA number and your Maryland CDS permit number and an individual email account that you check regularly. You go to the CRISP website, click on the registration button, put your information in, attest to the terms of use, and watch a brief training video, and you're done. It took me only about 30 minutes. You know, I provide consultations at another hospital. There, I can see the CDS prescription information just by clicking a link in the hospital's EHR. I must already be registered. Well, some hospitals have what's called single sign-on access to CRISP, which makes the PDMP data visible with one click from your patient's page in the EHR. But you still need your own account because that way you can see PDMP data even when you're here at the clinic. So once I'm registered, I'll be able to see all my patients' CDS prescriptions in the PDMP. Yeah, so either through the hospital EHR or by logging into Chris from clinic. And you can also print a report or have a delegate log into their own account and print one for you to review. A delegate? What is a delegate? So a delegate is a staff member that you authorize to access the PDMP. They're able to search and print reports for you. Here are the PDMP reports for tomorrow's patients. Thank you. They can also print them the day before to make it easier, too. 
So how do I know who can be a delegate? Anyone working with you or for you that you trust to access patient records can be a delegate. They need to register with CRISP just like you and have their own account. They go to the same CRISP website to get that account. Our clinic director actually made time for all the nurses to sign up and now they can serve as our delegates. So I have to register for the PDMP through CRISP, then I'm able to see all the CDS prescriptions that have been dispensed to my patient, who wrote them, when, how much, and where it was dispensed, plus the information is updated regularly? Yes. And soon, pharmacies will be required to report their dispensings every day, so the information will be even more up to date. It will be mandatory in July 2018 to look up a patient before prescribing a new course of treatment with any opiates or benzos and every 90 days thereafter if they continue the medication. That's right. I can also authorize a delegate, like my nurse, to search the PDMP for my patients and print the reports for me before prescribing. Yes, but remember, they need their own account. So what happens if I see prescriptions in a patient's chart that make me concerned about misuse or even a substance use disorder? Well, before you do anything, talk to your patient and screen for substance use disorders. I actually incorporate the PDMP information into the SBIRT process I use for every patient. I also offer a prescription for naloxone, especially when I'm concerned about opioid misuse or when the patient's on a higher dose of opioids. Thank you. I'm going to register when I get home. Once you have access to the PDMP, you may want additional resources to make clinical use of these data. Talk to your patients about their medications and care. Screen patients for possible substance use disorders through an SBIRT process. Consult guidelines on safe prescribing for opioids and other CDS. Refer patients to specialty pain management and or addiction specialists. Be aware of medication combinations with higher overdose risks. Prescribe naloxone to patients known to be taking opioids. Visit www.marylandpdmp.org for more information and additional resources.